Hi folks, it's Andy. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, this is a uh, kind of watch along slash translation type video. Uh, I haven't done one in a little while, sorry about that. Um, but I did find this <clears throat> particular video um, on the internet. It's part of a series of videos, but I thought this one especially might be of interest to people. Um, basically, it's from um, the uh, Ibaraki-ken uh, Kendo Federation, uh, the uh, vice, presi vice president, um, uh, Hanshi Hachidan, uh, Koda Sensei, who's also, uh, if you might know, he's a, he was a teacher at uh, Tsukuba University. Um, obviously, has been involved in training some of the best kendoka in the world. And it's, it's basically focusing around uh, solo kendo practice, which is something that's part of a lot of our lives right now, um, and how you can improve tenochi and sae in your strikes. Uh, it's something that people have asked me about a lot. Um, I've answered it as well on my own videos, but I thought it'd be great if we sort of took a look at um, what such a great and established sensei like Koda sensei um, can give us in terms of advice on this subject. Uh, before we jump into it though, <clears throat> if you do like the videos that I put out, if these videos uh, that I put out there completely free of charge bring you any uh, enjoyment or value whatsoever, um, please do consider supporting the channel uh, by shopping at kendostar.com. I'm not sure if that's in shop, but kendostar.com is my website, of course, that provides fantastic kendo equipment worldwide. Um, we're the best online. If you don't believe me, check out our um, our trust pilot rating, check out our reviews. We're five stars across the board, basically. We're by far the best uh, reviewed site on the internet. Um, and not only that, not only is it all great gear, uh, fantastic service, uh, but it supports this channel as well. So it makes sure that more of these videos keep coming. Um, I don't think any of our competition uh, can say anything like uh, that about their situation. So um, yeah, support the channel by shopping at kendostar.com. Right, let's get into this video. So by the way, the first slide, it just says uh, solo practice um, teaching episode three. So there are other videos. Uh, this is from uh, this channel. It's from the Ibaraki Kendo Federation uh, channel. I'll post a link to the original video. Uh, Tenuichi uh, Sae uh, strikes with Tenuichi and Sae. And then it says uh, Ibaraki Kendo Federation uh, vice president uh, Hans Hachidan called Asensi. So uh, this was actually filmed uh, in May. So he's talking about actually you have to do small suburi, not just large suburi, especially as doing large suburi, you, you you know, you're not going to hit the ceiling uh, if you're doing it inside. Um, so, yeah, the first thing he starts off is, is talking about, we're going to talk about small suburi. And you have to care about uh, tenuichi when doing small um, small suburi uh, and develop strikes that have sae. Now, sae is that kind of crispness that you get to those nice strikes. So it's not like a thud, but that kind of pan, that kind of crisp sharp strike so by doing this kind of practice that he's going to teach us about we can develop um strikes that have tenuchi good tenuchi and say it <clears throat> so when you're making a <clears throat> A realistic men strike, the kind you would do in an actual match. You don't tend to lift the shinai over your head. When we're doing basics, of course we do. So, but when you're actually in a realistic situation or fighting or combative situation, you tend not to lift the shinai over your head. You use a small strike, like you just demonstrated. And same with kote. You don't lift it high like that. You normally just swing this way. So you have to have a good tenuchi to be able to do this kind of technique. So in regards to tenuchi, it's like this. So he likens holding the shinai with your left hand similarly to how one might hold an umbrella. 
And don't grip it too hard so there's no movement, okay? So don't grip it too tightly. So the sae comes from this movement of the hand here. And you use this part of the hand here, this space, and this part of the hand here at the moment of the strike. And you use your little finger to squeeze it um, at, at the point of striking. So he's describing it as squeezing with the little finger, but using the thumb and the forefinger finger to almost push forward at the same time. Okay, so squeezing with the lit little finger, but pushing forward with the with the thumb and the forefinger. And that will develop sight. And same with the right hand. So, uh, with the right hand as well, is about that moment of impact, that moment of strike, using the, the little finger uh, and the, the uh, index finger and thumb um, uh, to, to, develop, to produce that sight. So in the past, uh, they used to say that the right hand would be pushing as the left hand pulled. And he uses that a little bit, but only a little bit, that, that concept. If you think about it too much, you might pull too much, you know, go too far like he just showed. I'll just replay that. So only a little bit. If you do too much, you'll do it like that. And when you're hitting men, you lift your uh, shoulders just about as much as he's showing. And then after that, you don't lower your shoulders. And just use your hands to strike like this. And of course, you must have flexible, soft wrists. And if you make the fumikomi, the stamp forward, uh, the sword will naturally uh, kind of come down to a strike. From kamae. Lift it to about this much. And then at the same time, apply the tenuchi. And it's a single movement. So as soon as you lift, you uh, bring the uh, tip of the sword down. You could practice this many times at home. For the, for the case of kote, uh, you should imagine the height of the kote about the same height as your own. So you don't need to lift the shinai up like this. Just from here. He doesn't really use his arms and elbows much. And there you can strike. So he allow you to practice this over and over again. There we go. Uh, to, he'd like you to practice this over and over again in order to um, uh, improve your tenuchi uh, and your sai. Um, this is basically uh, thanking us for watching, asking us to continue watching the series. Um, and basically, uh, he's, it's just making a statement that Kota Sensei is, uh, this was filmed at Scuba University, um, but practice there is cancelled. Uh, so they filmed this when there was nobody there. Uh, so obviously to keep in mind of um, social distancing. Okay, uh, so that's it. Uh, it was just a short video. I'll post a link to the original. Um, I think to summarize, he was talking about using a left hand, um, using the uh, fingers properly, squeezing with the little fingers and kind of pushing with the um, 
index and thumb, um, using the palm of the hand uh, effectively to develop that sae, and not swinging the shinai too much with your elbows and shoulders, um, and being nice and relaxed in your wrists, um, and yeah, uh, and to repeat it so that your body remembers it. Um, I thought that was a really interesting video. I picked up some tips myself. Uh, I'm looking forward to thinking about that as a practice on my own. Um, let me know what you thought. Leave a comment and all that sort of thing. Uh, and don't forget to support the channel by shopping at Kendall Star. Thanks for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.